Is anything we thought about leadership true? Well, it's not only a provocative question, it's also the name of an article that right there that we ran in Quality Digest on Wednesday written by leadership trainer and author Susan Fowler. Now, the piece poses some uh, challenging questions for anyone seeking meaningful business takeaways from what else, right? The recent presidential campaign. It seems like everybody's talking about that. Like many leadership gurus, Fowler has spent her entire career working with a basic set of assumptions about what it takes to motivate people and get them to follow you. First and foremost is the idea that successful leaders are humble. Now, this is a concept that's front and center in lean me management methodology as well, sure. humble leadership. We know that that's yep. a big part of doing that well too. But if we learn anything from the, uh, I think I can say this, the shockingly successful candidacy of President-elect Trump, it's that perhaps a sense of humility maybe is a little <laughs> overrated, right? I mean, maybe- Apparently. Uh, I, 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 that's what we're finding out. I mean, you know, maybe empathy isn't seen as a favorable trait either. Uh, that's possible that the ability to apologize doesn't matter and that the truth is passe. I mean, all those things might be true. I mean, any or, any or all of those things, which were long considered really core competencies of, of potent and effective leaders, may just not matter, or they may matter less than the strength and confidence at all times that a leader like, like Trump uh, demonstrates. By the way, not, not that, that last little bit you said, yeah. the, the, the whole confidence thing, seems to resonate more. I, I, I mean, we've seen that throughout leadership all, the, all, all along, is you can have some company that's completely floundering, and if the leader is strong and confident, people rally behind them. Uh, I mean, that's, that, there's a lot to be said for that. That's, that's <laughs> like, yeah. what this article is all about. There is yeah. a lot to be said for that. Now, now she doesn't claim to know if, that, if all that is true, and, and neither do I, but for, for both of us, uh, and maybe many of you out there as well, considerations like this have really have shaken our belief systems. I mean, I'm, I'll speak for myself here. That doesn't mean that I don't support our incoming president, because I do. I mean, I certainly do. It, it just means that things that I held to be true about leadership and leaders may be subject to a certain point uh, to some revision. Now for certain, I've known, I think we've all known people who have succeeded as leaders by embodying many of the same tendencies as our president-elect. In the past, I usually consider them as exceptions that would eventually kind of receive their comeuppance in some way, but to be honest, to tell you the truth, I mean, it, it, for many of them, in many cases, they just kind of continued to succeed year after year after year, uh, at least they did within the business sphere, and I don't know so much about the personal lives, but in business, they continue to succeed. So maybe there is something to this idea that great leaders are those that primarily project overwhelming strength and never admit to a mistake. Maybe they serve as maybe like a lightning rod for the rest of us, and that creates a sense of, of comfort, like you mentioned just before, uh, right. amongst the troops. Maybe, I mean, as I say, I don't know, but, but it, it sure makes her a thought-provoking topic, and, and for sure, anytime your belief systems are challenged, that's, that's a good thing, right? Because it provides an opportunity to see things from a different perspective. Well, we're gonna be expanding on these issues and related ones towards the end of today's show, so we're gonna kinda jump off on this and talk about something else. So come back to us about 2025 after, well, stick with us, but at 2025 <laughs> after, we're gonna be talking about this a little bit more. So yeah, yeah, stick with us. Don't leave and then come right. back. That's right. All right. <laughs>